History is filled with tales of individuals whose actions have had profound impacts on society. One such figure is Mary Malin, better known to the world as Typhoid Mary. Her story is a fascinating and cautionary tale about disease, public health, and human resilience. Mary Malin was born in 1869 in Cookstown, Ireland. Like many of her contemporaries, she emigrated to the United States in search of a better life. By the turn of the century, she had established herself in New York City, working as a cook for affluent families. However, Mary was unknowingly carrying a dangerous secret. To understand Mary's impact, we need to delve into the disease she spread, typhoid fever. Typhoid fever is caused by the bacterium Salmonella typhi. It spreads through contaminated food and water, leading to high fever, weakness, stomach pains, headache, and sometimes rash. In the early 1900s before antibiotics, typhoid was a deadly disease claiming many lives. Mary's career as a cook placed her in a critical position to spread the disease. Between 1900 and 1907, she worked for several families, and wherever she went, typhoid outbreaks followed. It wasn't long before health officials noticed a pattern. Dr. George Soper, a sanitary engineer, was tasked with investigating these outbreaks. Dr. Soper's investigation led him to Mary Malin. He identified her as a healthy carrier of typhoid fever, someone who carries the bacteria but does not show symptoms. This was a groundbreaking discovery at the time. Soper approached Mary to provide samples for testing, but she refused not believing she could be the source of the outbreaks. Mary was eventually apprehended and tested. The results confirmed Dr. Soper's suspicions. In 1907, she was quarantined on North Brother Island, a small island in New York's East River. Her case brought public attention to the concept of healthy carriers, people who could spread disease without being sick themselves. In 1910, after three years of quarantine, Mary was released under the condition that she never work as a cook again. However, faced with limited employment options and financial hardship, she returned to cooking, this time under an alias. This decision had dire consequences. Mary was traced to new typhoid outbreaks and was rearrested in 1915. Overall, she is believed to have infected as many as 122 people, with at least three dying, but that number could be as high as 50. She spent the remaining 23 years of her life in quarantine on North Brother Island. Mary Malin died in 1938, leaving behind a complex legacy. Mary's story highlights the challenges of balancing individual rights with public health. Her case prompted changes in public health policies and practices, especially concerning infectious diseases. It also underscored the importance of proper hygiene and sanitation, which were crucial in controlling typhoid fever and other diseases. Today, the term typhoid Mary is often used to describe someone who knowingly or not spreads disease or misfortune. As we reflect on the story of Mary, we are reminded of the invisible threads that connect us all in society. In the era of global travel and new emerging diseases, her story remains as relevant as ever, reminding us of the need for vigilance, empathy, and collective responsibility in safeguarding public health. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing historical mysteries. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and never stop seeking the truth. Thank you for watching.